like waking up this morning, I'm like, yo, what are we going to talk about? I was like, we don't, well, I don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> I was like, I don't think we have any shoes to show. And then all of a sudden, boom, I'm a pickle. Boom. He's a pickle. Yo. I actually have another pair right here. What's that? Uh, I'll fix that here. Oh, okay. I was like, I don't know what the hell's going on with that. Yeah, no, we oh, just Roger. we throw it in the multi stream call it a day. <laughs> Roger, Dodger. Bang. Oh, another one? I don't know what that is. Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> he said, oh, yeah. So we've got six One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Well, I mean, what? That was, that was in the closet sleeping. I bought these together. Oh. But even still, That's it's a ten and a half I'm getting rid of. Oh, you don't want to put your piggies in it? How? <laughs> I actually have it sold for 170 That ain't bad. No box? No box. Yours? No extra laces used. Have it sold for 170 Drip was going to buy it, and then I wasn't going to sneaker culture. Or, I mean, sneaker whatever the hell you want to call it. And, um... So nice. Yeah, that one's gonna be hard to sell. Um, yeah, it's gonna be hard to sell, but I kind of want to keep it just because of what it is. But it's yeah, I just feel like that's a shoe that you have to find someone that specifically wants it. Dude, do you know how many jackasses showed up to shows and be like, "Huh, I want to buy some really stupid shit." This is it. This okay. is the dumbest pair that's gonna be there. I okay. promise. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> what's up? What's up? What's up? Yo, uh, yo, DJ, yo. I see you in my jail, my boy. That's always nice. That's always nice. It wasn't on site, evidently. Yeah, yeah. It was actually. I'm sure it was. Uh, it was better for him in the long run because I noticed that he was uh, up top, and that probably worked out a lot better for everybody. Like for the sound quality, um, just for everybody to hear instead of just like the front area, um, which was dope. Away from people, so people can't shout themselves out. <laughs> oh goodness! <coughs> That's so, funny. Do we want to show this one first? Yeah, or do we want yeah, to save yeah. this for last? Because this is the most obnoxious bear we have. Uh, it don't matter. We'll I kind of want to save that one for last for sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, no. yeah. That one's chew poppy. Do we have anything that's like gr stuff? So yeah. we can show like banger, 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 and then yeah, the, right, the yeah. end. Okay, let's show, let's show grs and then I'll. We might sprinkle this one in, in the middle. Or that, that one, actually. What is that? What is this one? Sure. I actually like that shoe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would wear this. And I'm not going to lie, I kind of wish I would have got my size now, thinking about it, because I think this would be a nice um, first dunk to have. Well, not only that, but I mean, I think that, you know, if you threw some blue laces in this, it would be the Cubby Specials. And... Bro, this shoe would go crazy with a Cubs jersey. What? I <laughs> need a pair now. That is a, and actually, they they use the, the shitball quality on these, and the quality's still not bad. Right, but they use dunk quality. Like, like this is what you have to start coming to expect with dunks. Yeah, I think that this is a nice... I think this was a nice color to use this material. I right. I say that. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? It's like super shiny, and like, to me... You don't come to expect a lot out of it, bro. Why did I not get these? These are these are pretty nice, dude. I mean, again, I think that this is a great shoe to have. This is a nine and a half. If anyone wants it, uh, hey, you fine piece of ass. New world after. <laughs> <laughs> Howdy, partner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this oh, is a lot better in hand. You think so? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I definitely agree. Oh yeah. It, one thing that I think is kind of weird, and not that I hate it, is they did a red stitch. Like a red. I seen that, and I was just like, and I just blew it off. But I mean, that's kind of a weird touch. I don't know why they did that with all the other stitching pretty much being white. Um, but I mean, I don't know. I don't hate it. I think it's whatever. <laughs> but I don't think they've done that on any other one though. <laughs> I don't. I don't recall them ever doing like a different like color stitching. I just feel like there's something that I don't want to say it's missing. I think that this, like, if it An was extra a, lace, yeah, probably black or red. <coughs> I didn't throw black in because that would be there's no black. Yeah, there's literally there's no, no black. black on this entire shoe. Throw a red in there. Yeah, but then it'd have been so much. That would have been a lot of red because that red tongue. Yeah. So I don't think they missed the, the extra laces. Because blue, that, blue would be nice. America. 
but oh yeah. But the problem is, if you put blue in it, you have to at least make it match. Like, well, so well, so he said, it reminds me of the jalapenos. Jalapeno, <laughs> though, that's funny. Yeah, this is. I'd almost not put blue in it though, just to keep it the, with the red and blue. Or the, just wear your regular. Yeah, your regular. Because if you put blue in it, you, you're not gonna wear like a. Um, any like really any other um, team that's red. I mean, if, if the color is red and blue, that makes sense. But like, I mean, you could rock this with like um, you could I probably would, rock I, it with the Braves. The, or you could rock it with the Diamondbacks. No, I mean you definitely could. But if you had the blue laces in, you'd be limited. Like you could wear this with a Reds jersey. Oh yeah, the, but if you well, had blue in it, it'd look kind of silly. Right, Bulls jersey. This would be fire. With a Bulls pinstripe jersey. Yeah, you understand how many people are going to wear that, though? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. It's like when you bla- any black and yellow shoe comes out, they wear it with a Steelers jersey. Steelers <laughs> or the Pittsburgh Pirates. Yeah, exactly. Those two jerseys are going to be the number you're not one. A, you're not a sports fan, but you have that jersey for any black and uh, black and yellow shoe. I do I do like the blue lace concept, though. I do, especially because I wear a lot of red and blue. Um, yeah, dude, like I what said. What would you rate this out of 10 for this release? Um... <clears throat> Honestly, I'm gonna rate this pretty high. Like, I think this is about an eight. I, I think the qual eight. I think the quality is lacking. Like, if they did really good quality, I mean, it it's a banger. But I do think that with the overall colorway and all that stuff, I mean, yeah, it's it's an eight to me. This shoe is crazy. I really like it. Um, I'll keep mine at eight. I was gonna say eight or eight to nine, <clears throat> give or take. But like you said, I mean, the the material is. It's, it's it's a poop dunk material, but it's still fire. Right, like like if they would have done just regular tumble leather, it would have looked like it wouldn't have. It wouldn't to me. It wouldn't have done the same thing. No, like I like the gloss, like the real glossy red they put on it. So I mean, I, I give. This I'm gonna say a nine, man. I think this is a slip on dunk. No, I'm not think, going for very much right they're now. They're like what two ish two at yeah. most. I mean, it depends on if you really want it or not. Right, that's what I'm saying. Around two, <clears throat> but I'm. I just think this is a good shoe. I like it. This, I don't know why this kind of reminds me of the baseball dunk. Are you, oh, you're the talking about boys, the, yeah, the, boys, yeah. I don't know. I think it might just be the red. Maybe. I think that the shoe, I don't know. I, I think the shoe would go really good with like a Cardinals jersey. Yeah, if you were. I'm talking about Arizona Cardinals for, for football. Oh, okay. I thought like a Larry about. Fitzgerald or. Kyler Murray, What? I'm thinking Larry Fitz. Don't I sleep mean, on my boy. Oh, I'm not sleeping on. Him. I'm just saying that Larry. Wake up. Larry Fitz is is yeah. He is that dude. Definitely one of the goats as far as that. yeah. This was a nice one. That's a nice one, man. Yeah. That's that's solid. You know, I, I'm surprised that I haven't seen more of those kind of. Oh, this one. I don't. I'm not a fan of this one. That's my size. I'm not gonna buy it, but <laughs> it's my size. <laughs> This is the Mauve V3s? V2. Yeah, V2. V2? <coughs> the V3 is like the one that I have out there. That's like the alien almost. Oh, right, right, yeah. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this one. I I can't really tell if that's supposed to be like a green. I think it's supposed to be a green. What? This. I don't know. It's like gray. I think that this shoe... Is really cool. I like the actual um, the blocking of like the leather and stuff like that on this shoe. I hate this colorway. Yeah, I'm not. I like the shoe, and actually, I do have that gray that gray one. I like this. Like my favorite V2. Hey, shout out to my boy Ethan. Take a shrimp with a dip of that St. Elmo sauce. Oh, you, you won't do it. Absolutely not. You won't do it. Absolutely. Do it for the gram. That that is spicy. It's a, That's a spicy, spicy boy. No, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> uh-uh. You got me messed up. But no, I like I like this shoe, and I actually like the the quality of the materials they used on it. I just don't. I think that this is a slip on like this model. Yeah, I don't like, like the slip. static ones that they made of these. The all white with the the silver on. Like, oh man, I don't know what Crazy. technically the the leather they use for this because it's not a tumble. But it's still like... It's almost like suede. It still looks good creased. Right, that's what I'm saying. It's almost like suede or something. It's like was, what they used on the Trav. The Trav um, 4. Yeah, 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 yeah. But just like it, obviously a different color. I just don't like this colorway. No. Even though it's a solid colorway to match pretty much with anything. I mean, except What's for... What's up, JB? To me, like it almost comes out like a purplish 
hue. See, that's what I'm saying. You get purple, but I get a green, like a forest green. No, I'm talking about this. Oh, I'm yeah, it's mauve. Yeah, like it's almost like purplish brown, and uh, that's that's no go for me. And it doesn't help that there's a brown on the bottom with like a. I think this looks like green to me. So you got a green, a green gray. Yeah, it's just a lot. Yeah, of, it's there. It's this ain't bad though. This is a. I like the 3M. Um, I don't even know what you would call that. The little pods in there right here? Right here. Oh, the little stripes? Yeah. yeah. I think that if they'd have done the midsole black <clears throat> with this color up top, it would have been really good. I don't know why, but if they did the green right here... Maybe. I think that would flow a little bit better if they put that green with the leather and the little... Yeah, it's almost spaces. like there's just something's missing, <clears throat> and I don't know what it is. Um, but The more I, I look at it, I kind of I kind of, kind of like it. Kind of, kind of. Kind of, kind of? Kind of. Kind of, kind of. I don't know what I would wear with this. Maybe some Brave Studio shorts. Oh, or native. Native, for sure. <laughs> for sure. I just opened these bad boys up today, too. Oh, my gosh. I've worn mine like 10 times already, probably. I love them. They're like my favorite shorts. I have that pair and the, the South Beach pair. They're both mm -hmm. black. I wear them all the time. Rate it. What, what are you at with it? Six. Six? Yeah, and, and I'm saying six generously because I like the materials that they used on the top. Mm -hmm. I was going to say five. Yeah, I say six only because I like the material up top. I think that this colorway is garbage. It's horrible. Uh, I like the gray, though, and I do like this midsole. I like the midsole. I'm saying I like the I like the the gum bottom, and I don't like this color. I think if they have took this color and made it black... Or gray. I'll tell you what. And it would have it would have flowed with this and then made this color the accent color. Would have made it so much nicer. If they made this blue. Yeah, I, I still don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> not to see it through, my boy. <laughs> not if they made this it through, a royal blue, that'd be fire. Almost like how they're kind of starting to make some more colors. It's almost like they're listening to our lives. <laughs> almost. I'm not really liking this tongue, though. I do kind of like I like it. It's yeah. a little more breathable. It's like uh, the Prime Net that Adidas used on a lot of their shoes a couple years ago. Yeah, Instead kinda. of Fly Net, like Nike, they call it Prime Net, which I like. It. I have a lot of a lot of, a lot of shoes. They did a lot Prime of Net. Ultra Boosts and stuff, right? Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Yeah, I, I definitely think that um, I'd like the first pair. Yeah, that that first pair is pretty crazy. I really no like it. Barry. We did um, the black or the black, the red and white dunks. Yep. Eight eight out of ten. Fire. And that's a low score. That's a low. I think that is a low score. Oh, I don't know why I just did that. <laughs> these kind of remind me of honeycombs. Yeah, these are the bumblebee joints, bro. Bumblebee. Yeah, bro. Remind me of transformers. Okay, I'm not a fan of them. I like the color. I just don't like this material that they use. I think this is the first Yeezy that sat online. It sat on uh, Yeezy Adidas. So oh, really? It sat on Adidas for a minute. <coughs> yeah, I'm just not a fan of the shoe, the model itself with the material they use. And then they don't let you have the option to tie your shoe. Like, it's just one solid string. Well, they didn't give you extra laces in these? Nope. Yeah, that's that's annoying. Cause I know that in the new Yeezys they do this, but they give you extra laces yeah, and they make it them. so you can. Cause they did the same thing here. Yeah. But I will say this though, I'm gonna I'm gonna give this this shoe an extra point or two because the colorway is nice. How they structure the shoe itself with yeah, the dude. with the I don't even know what you'd call that like the caramel color up here, and then they had the the whole bottom is black. Where like sometimes they miss and put the bottom brown, and it kind of like. Yeah, this would really go really flow. good with like a Pittsburgh Steelers jersey or something. I fucking something. hate you. <laughs> no. No. This is caramel. I know you're... But once you said, dude, I think this would... I like it. The fucking Steelers. I know you're going to say. What would this go good with? I mean, I don't really... Um, This is a weird color. Yeah, it is. I thought it was going to be brighter than that, based off pictures. See, I think Adita messes up a lot with cut with like how pictures look and then how the shoe comes out. It's weird. Yeah, they miss a lot. It's weird. Um, it's a hit or miss on all of them too. So I don't know. I feel like there's some like 
I think like a bleach t-shirt, like a black t-shirt that's like bleached or whatever, that's like that kind of burnish color. Yeah. Um, I think would look a, really good. A NASCAR good. shirt. Someone can rock a NASCAR shirt with this. Yeah, I'm sure there's like some... Or a Banty. Some like old Bobby Labonte shirt or some goofy stuff. That's like one of the only... Bro, to get off remember. subject, you hear about the NASCAR driver that tried to kill his wife and then got shot killed? <laughs> and he was like young, bro. He was like 27. Time out. What? Bro. It gets, it gets <laughs> juicier. He went at his wife with an axe. With an axe? And hit her, apparently. Like, got hit with it. Yeah, bro. <laughs> this, this, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some Brian Laundry type shit. Or however you pronounce his last name. That's too soon, dude. No. <laughs> it's not soon enough. They haven't found him yet. That's what I'm saying. It's too soon. They haven't found him yet. <laughs> I'm going to bro. I'm gonna give this shoot six. Yeah, probably. And I'm only giving it a six because the color blocking is, is kind of on point. Especially with that little piece back here. That's going to three in with the 700. I'm going to say probably. And the only reason I'm going to say probably is because... I don't really know. I, I don't think it's good enough for a seven. I don't think it's dis. I think it's disrespectful to give it a five. Yeah. So, so six is really where I'm at. But I'm not really happy with giving it a six. I was gonna give it a five just because I hate this material. Yeah, that nylon is garbage. Is that what this is? Nylon. Yes, nylon. Mm -hmm. Not a fan of it. But I like the colorways. I think that they came out with those colorways on like a normal seven hundred. Or literally any other shoe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, low key, they might. I could really see um, Adidas doing that, like like Jordan. I kind of see them um, opening up to new different things. Like Bruh. one thing I see them doing, and you can kind of say I'm wrong, but I see them kind of watching what Nike does a little bit. Oh yeah, I mean they're because, competitors, so for sure. Right, but I'm saying they came out with these mm -hmm. at damn near the same time as they came out with the yellow and black. Jordan ones, the palms. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're coming out with more, uh, like shoes that that Yeezy's gonna make are starting to flow color wise with what Jordan brand and stuff's kind of coming out with um, around that time. Like mm -hmm. that's why I think they're doing more colors of Yeezy seven hundreds and five hundreds and stuff like that is to open up <clears throat> to kind of compete a little more with what Jordan's doing. And that could have been the reason why that's at. Right, like you could pick the Jordan One or you could pick the Seven Hundred, and everybody's gonna go for the Jordan One because it sells, sells way easier. It sells easier. It's not as expensive, and yeah. it's easier to wear if you do want to wear it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. But yeah, I just think that that shoe itself is like, man, there's so many good things you could do with it, and they're just missing the Seven Hundred. Yeah, bad. I like the Seven Hundred V Two. A lot. I like the 700 V3 a lot. I just don't think the colorways they're doing are. JB wants to know if this material is going to be easy to clean. Oh. Yes. Um. But no. It I guess it depends on what it you depends. Gotta clean off. Yeah, like if you if you go and like drop <laughs> if you go drop liquor on it or something like that, it's gonna stain it. Yeah, it's like staining a carpet. Yeah, JB said. Figured I'll ask the guy that makes the best shoe cleaner. I appreciate that, JB. I love you. Um, <laughs> yeah, it really depends on what it like. What it like you said, if you drop any type of like liquid, it's gonna be horrible. It's to get gonna out. bleach. Um, um, okay, so this is gonna be, sound so crazy. I don't know why I think this, but I feel like if you drop like a tomato sauce paste on it, it would just like roll off, no, like never wet. Definitely not. I don't know why. I feel like it would. It feels like it's uh, the only reason why you say that is because you. It reminds you of like a, a track jacket. That kind of yes, exactly. Something. Yeah. Maybe, but at the same time, anything that's red is hard to get out of anything. So if yeah, it gets, if you get, itself, right? yeah, if you get red onto anything, it's you. You Raps. might as well just throw it away because <laughs> it's horrible to get out. Almost like an off-white five or something, you know. Oh, almost. Get <laughs> That's a spicy meatball. <laughs> I hope it was worth it. Yeah, that. Oh man. <laughs> oh. Bro, we've got stories for days now. We've got. The, we've been going to shows for a year. You know that. Have we? Very, I would say very close. Yeah. We've been doing this since December together. DJ, he said, "What's the next show you guys are planning? Planning on going to?" My phone is being used. Uh, I don't know. It might not be for a couple weeks. Two weeks, right? Oh. So there's mad shows this weekend. 
Um, no, not this weekend. Next, next weekend. weekend. So I say it might not be for a couple weeks. Um, but you won't be able to go to those, will you? No, you're free. No, I'm you're sorry, not next weekend. Next weekend is just Youngstown, but I have a baby shower. Um, the weekend after, there's like five shows, and I'll be in Bloomington because of my brother's birthday, or wedding. I won't be able to go because I'll be working on a race car in Salem. Salem, they, that's far. That's four not hours. this weekend, the following weekend, and then... That's four and a half hours away. Salem? Yeah. No, so that's two. Two and a half. Oh, I might be thinking about some other place then. Salem's over there by... Um, what's that big casino? French Lick. Oh, I'm thinking of a different place then. Yeah. We were just looking at property, hunting property, and we I think it was Salem. It was like all the way at the bottom of any like borderline Kentucky. Evansville's down there. I want to say it was Salem. I don't know. Salem, Salem is, yeah, it's south, but it's not like. Oh. So we got three left, man. I'll let you choose what's next. Let's. Because this was definitely last. That one's that last. That one's a. <laughs> oh, that's. Oh, I didn't even plan this either. That's a banger. I didn't even plan this. Let's show those and then these and then these. I'm ex- oh. <laughs> yeah, that that's a spicy meatball. <laughs> that's a boy right there, cuz. First off, the box is gas. Yeah. First off. <laughs> if anybody if you guys pay attention, you obviously know B loves Halloween. I love stuff. Halloween, dude. It's my favorite. Loves it. So the box is just fire. I just got three Halloween shirts this week. Fire, bro. I was, <laughs> was going to say something about doing a Halloween thing for KKs. Let's do it. We've got cool. We've got a couple cool uh, things that Kyle drew we could use as those. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Chupapi. Would you guys like a Halloween drop from us? Oh, oh, oh. Just a do a little limited boy. Bro, I'm not, I don't even like Halloween, bro. I love Halloween, dude. Like, I don't like Halloween, but like... Halloween's one of the only Scottsburg. That's right. JD. That's what it is. Scottsburg. Um, Scottsburg's deep. That's really far, far. bro. Yeah, we were going to buy property there. Whoa. Looking at it. Nice. Um, I'm not a huge fan of... Uh, I've seen them doing stuff in Astor and Castleton. Bro, these are crazy. Um, I'm not a huge uh, Halloween... Or not Halloween, but... Um, um, holiday guy. But Halloween is one that's growing on me because obviously I have a son. So um, he actually enjoys Halloween a lot more than what I anticipated. Mm-hmm. So I'm enjoying that more than, um, yeah, Christmas. So yeah, these Easy. Freddy Kruegers are crazy, dude. Um, this is probably the closest I'll ever get to owning a pair of Freddy Krueger shoes. Yo, I seen homie that had a pair. He was selling them uh, for like 20k, right, bro? The whole shoe of suede was ruined by the gasoline and oil. Like it was cooked, bro. It was, and I personally, if I would ever. Would it be <laughs> um, if I ever bought, ever had the, that type of money to buy it, I would want my shoe to have that on there. Oh, yeah. Because I know there's multiple pairs that like, don't have them on there. I want um, mine to have a little bit of it I want on mine. there. I want it to have that story. Yeah. That, sh- that shows that it's been through some shit. Because I promise you, 90% of the shoe uh, the shoe people out right now, if they think of Freddy Krueger, they just think of like the shoe itself. They don't know the backstory. Right. Which, that's... My opinion, my one of my favorite parts about shoes is the backstory behind them and all that. So it kind of sucks like newer colorways that come out. But. So the thing that I think is kind of interesting about these is they made them look distressed without distressing them. Like they printed like like distressed distressed like rip frays in them, but didn't rip fray the shoe. Bro, I think this is one of the like if you wear Vans, you're gonna you're gonna agree with me if you wear Vans. Vans look good clean. Vans look good shitball. Doesn't matter. They're Vans. Yeah. You're, you're going to... If they're shitty, they still look good no matter what. Yeah. It's, it's one of those shoes that you wear it... Andy. Fire. <laughs> this shoe, if I own this shoe, I'm not going to lie, I would distress it myself. You would like... I would cut shit up. Yep. I would only do it up here because I think that... Yeah, I wouldn't do it down there. I would just do it down here lower. Like, lower and upper ankle. Like, almost like where this right here is, yep. just kind of fray that right there, right, right here, yeah, yeah. maybe. I think it'd be really cool, like, right here, to, like, do, th- like, four claw marks that go right there. <laughs> yeah, the counterfeit, he was at, actually, our um, our first event. He was in the corner, he's the one that showed up mad late. 
Madly. <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> but that's yeah, okay. this shoe's fire. Yeah, I definitely think this was. Oh my gosh! Like, bro, I paid. I love Vans collabs. I literally paid like eighty bucks for these. These are one of my favorite shoes I have. Dude. Yeah, see, They're that's what I'm so talking about. Cool. You pay, you pay way less than over half the shoes that what we get, and it just. The sentimental value is what gets to me. I mean, it's just you just appreciate. I'm just it, saying, man. like, dude, like, yeah, Corbin, these are fire, and especially in hand, like this. This hits so many boxes for people that like horror movie stuff. Bro, this yes. checks so many boxes, like the the actual sweater, the blood splatter. Did you get any of the uh, merch? I didn't, but I do have another pair of, of Vans coming in. Which one you got? The scream? No, I, I ended up getting a pair of. Uh, Pennywise slip-ons. Gas. Um, but they're pending still. So I ordered them. You, they didn't come up on the Vans website. Like, you couldn't buy them off Vans.com. So you, I went to Journeys and found them. And um, I ordered them the same time as I ordered these. Mm-hmm. These gave me a tracking number, and the other pair says pending. Still. I love this midsole. Like, I like the red stripe. Like, it's kind of different. Mm-hmm. Like, instead of it just being all black or whatever, I like that they did the little red stripe in it. It's kind of cool. I'm not even going to ask you to rate this shoe. That'd be, that'd be so pointless. I'm going to get... And it's so biased. I mean, obviously, you know. I mean, he bought it for a reason, so... not as an, unbiased, as an unbiased opinion, I give myself a 9.5. And the reason why is because there's always room for improvement in everything. And I don't feel like... I don't think they missed on any aspect of the shoe, though. But I feel like that the the one thing that I think would have would have set these off, and I think would have this is me being picky. Um, so on the tongues, there one says Vans off the wall, or they both say Vans off the wall. If they'd have done Vans off the wall and then done the Nightmare on the Street, like on one of the tongues, I think that that might have been like what because like it doesn't say insult? anything. Yeah, like it doesn't say anything about that except for like on the insole. Like yes, you understand that it's Nightmare on Elm Street because of the color blocking and the blood splatter and all that. So stuff. what you're telling me is you're going to the theater to watch it when it comes out, the new one. Ah uh, yes, I'm. I'm not even sure if that's going to happen, but yes. What do you mean? Like if they come out with a new one, yes. I there's will. a there's a. Uh, isn't there one coming out? Oh, not Freddy, Jason. Yeah, there's a there's a Chucky TV show coming Players, out so. on next I don't, I don't Thursday. Mess with Chucky. Chucky's tight, dude. I don't mess with Chucky. Bro. I like him because he's a jackass. Yeah, he he's did. a shit talker, bro. I like that, dude. I'll <laughs> field goal kick his ass, dude. <laughs> he goes, I put his stupid ass. <laughs> For real, <laughs> like, bro, you think about it. A doll's coming at you, bro. Just pump the shit and move on about your day. Keep working. <laughs> now you got a kid with a knife in the hand. You know that's no good. Yeah, these are fire. Yeah, like I said, I'm giving it 9.5 because there's always room for improvement. There's no shoe ever to come out, in my opinion, that's a 10. Ooh, I lied to you. There's a couple 10s. <laughs> there's a 10, and I can tell you that... I mean, we might pull out a 10 here in a minute. That's true. That's that's <laughs> that, hey, hold on now. In that box, that whole collection is a ten. That might ooh. Every shoe in that collection is a ten. Let me think about what every shoe. Uh, the dunks, with are tens. The Blake Griffin is a ten. The Kobe Seven's a ten. Kobe Katie Four is a ten. That Blake Griffin, you think, is a ten? The all orange neon orange pair. I just think Blake Griffin's butt. I mean, that's, <laughs> it's a hyper dunk, bro. It's a hyper I know, dunk. but that's the problem. It's a hyper dunk. Ten. I'm not seeing that one in hand though. To be fair, ten. Fire. This is. I'm gonna say a nine. Galaxy foam posit. Ten. Stop. Eleven. Eleven. <laughs> Stop. Eleven. Stop. Stop. Maybe even a twelve. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah. For sure, yeah. That's that's a pair that just so you know, like if anybody has a lead to get a pair, I'll buy it. I will buy it. I don't Ooh. care. I need an eleven and a half. This I'll take an eleven me. through twelve. I don't care. I'll buy another guy's a deposit. If you have it, let me know. All I'm saying We've had is three pairs, I've sold them. So this I need next another. one I've not had in hand. <laughs> I've not seen it. I've actually not seen this one. I've seen a couple of the other ones, but I've not seen this one. Until obviously you sent it to me. 
Those are so atrocious. Dude. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh my gosh. But I bought them for a couple reasons. Number one, I bought them for the connections. Gross. Because this guy wants to sell some of his collection. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, and he's willing to give us a pretty good prices on some stuff. Um, like dead stock plats and um, um, what oh. else does he have? Uh, shattered backboards, bands, breads, all that stuff. Is this what I think it is? No, no it's no, not. No, it's not him. I don't think this is a dude. It. This is a dude from. Um, he's from Anderson, but it's not that guy. This is. Uh, it just looks like you're walking with straight steel wool on your foot. <laughs> it feels like it. <laughs> this is so gross. No, bro. I'm so glad the shoe doesn't fit you. I don't think I could feel right. I would wear this. Around with I would wear this shoe. <laughs> if, I, if it fit me, I would Bro, wear I like ugly shit. Trust <laughs> me. I like <laughs> ugly shit. Just so people are like, bro, why do you like that? It's because I like it and you don't like it. That's why I like it. <laughs> this is this is borderline B. <laughs> I'm very happy this doesn't fit you. Look, and I'm sure Logan feels this. I'll throw this way. I'll throw this shoe on my foot after the or like after no. we kind of review it, and you see how tight this shoe is, and I'm like, bro, yeah, this is why I can't wear this shoe. <laughs> so I'm gonna. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Boom. Oh my god. The Jeremy Scott Bears, bro. <laughs> Tell me another person that you know that has. Well, first shoe. off, who the hell has a foot shaped like that? It's a little tight. Yeah. It's the same way as they did the, the bottom for the Calabasas. It's the same ew, exact bottom. Ew. Ew. This shoe is insane. These are some shit kickers. Yeah, Logan definitely took this shoe and threw it straight in the trash first time. She's fire, like, fire. I would have done the same. <laughs> Bro, this is atrocious. I'm not going to lie to you. I like the fact that the bear has a pink tongue. <laughs> I don't know why. That's the only thing you could take out of this whole yeah, thing. Yeah, this, yeah. I feel weird touching it. This guy said, I wore these shoes twice. And I wore them the once on the uh, New Year's. He goes, I wore them once New Year's to my girlfriend's house. And he probably got bullied by her dad. <laughs> Dude. He probably got beat up. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, bro. I'm so happy these don't fit you. <laughs> you like these? these? That's cool. I do, that's bro. That's cool if you Look. like them. Uh, I think it's the other one I have unlaced. Here you go. Oh, my gosh, bro. Look, I have this shoe unlaced as loose as it is. Look at him. He's turtle heading. Why is he like that? Look, Boing. right here. Bro, those are... I've never seen a shoe in my life in hand that's so annoying. <laughs> I don't know what it is. And I like ugly shit. And I'm not even going to say this though. This is uh, um, very artistic. Like, I mean, bro, you don't you don't see stuff like this. You just don't. Um, and Jeremy Scott throws I just know that this shit is gonna, together. This shoe is so tight that I know that like I could, I could make it work. Okay, your piggies are screaming. That's what I was gonna say. If I tried to make it work, it's gonna hurt so bad. The next you mean you wouldn't wear this shoe to Universal? Hell no! <laughs> oh my god, bro! I it would just feel. I feel like I'd have like, like it looks like the teddy bears on a roller coaster already, with his hands. Ah. Yeah, I, don't yeah know. Dude, I feel like, like it'd just be weird, like having this much weight on your on a tongue. Uh, um, so Logan liked this shoe. Absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> <laughs> From the uh, peanut gallery. That's great. Yeah, dude. Like, yeah, look. this is just different, bro. No way. It's still tight on my foot. No way, B. And my toe is like. Right there. And you did say you wanted to buy an ignorant buy for your birthday. This was this was an ignorant buy for my birthday. <laughs> but <laughs> she said, no shit. But, uh I'm not I like this sole. I will I I I'll give it some some compliment. The sole's pretty tight. With with all the glitter speckles in it. This is a seven five for me, by the way. Really? Yeah. Okay. I like how bold it is. It. 75? I'm in the same. I'm in the same realm as you. 
I like stuff a lot of times that people are like, wow, that is horrible. I don't know how the heck. I'll give this a six. I'll give it a fair six. Just for the creativity. And I'm telling you, I I had full intentions on writing this show. Do you guys like the wings at all? I love the wings. I've owned a pair of wings. I think the wings are dope. And and actually, um, I've seen the brown, the same thing of this shoe, but the brown bear, the brown bear, and I like that. I still think it's a weird concept to have the fucking bear as a tongue. I think it'd be weird. Like, obviously, I wear a 13, so, like, it's going to look like shit on my face. I had the red, white, and blue uh, wings Mm -hmm. at one point in time, and uh, I wore them to go watch The Purge on the 4th of July. I watched The Purge, and then went and watched, uh, or then went and watched Fireworks or whatever. But I had the wings. I really like those. Yeah, Um, Corbin said he always wanted the denim ones. The denim. Are you talking the denim wings? Yeah, brother, tight. And, and instead of one. instead of having a wing like this, it's got like a shroud that goes over the top. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. I don't. Bro, they I almost remind me are... of like. I'm not trying to say this, like m- like Mexican jeans, like you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, like, with, yeah, yeah, yeah. With like all the bright colored stitching and stuff like that. Yeah, it's it the just same. Stands out. Yeah, it's the same. Um, thing like that's that's same how idea that's how he styled i just bro these are really cool and it, and not just these i think the, his whole his whole uh line i think with that the teddy bear they're really fucking bold dude he that's the point like yeah. he doesn't he is a designer like he is literally an artist like he, he wants he wants you to look at his stuff and go wow what that's, the fuck <laughs> yeah like that's crazy um and that's what he does i mean that's that's what he goes for and it it works. He did his job. And you know what? And I know these sell out. Yeah. So I know, sell. I mean, it's not like he doesn't like... Do you know how much how much these go for on eBay right now? I don't know why. I want to say like $800. No, I wish they did though. Some ignorant shit. No, it's like 300 bucks. Oh, that ain't bad. Like 250 300 bucks. So... We bought I, a doll, bought these for a dollar? I wish I'd be oh, a dollar okay. for them. <laughs> but, no, I, I, I um, definitely was excited kind of to get these. Just because... They're so ignorant. It just looks like he's he's so excited on a roller coaster. <laughs> he said, I'm not trying to say this and then says it. <laughs> oh yeah, these are these are atrocious. Not gonna lie to you, little boy. But yeah, I oh, definitely Oh my gosh, it just feels weird touching. Yeah, it's definitely weird. Now listen, when you go home, don't tell Tori. Yeah, I know. Like, she's going to go, What the where, hell? Where did you go to? Yeah. Uh, I was picking up a pair of I kind of like that they gave you the gray laces, but, I mean, I feel like it's pointless. Like, I'm not going to take gray laces out. I'm going to just keep the glitter ones in. For yeah, like, the, the yeah, they gave, like, boring gray laces. Like, nobody's going to put those I in. appreciate you throwing some little extra in there, you know, like a an 11 piece when I bought a 10, but it's not needed. <laughs> It's not needed, you know? I'm not going to lie. I sat here for a second to, 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 to dissect mentally what you just said. <laughs> and I was like... nugget. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, that's... Yeah. I'm not, so, do you ever... This is this is a side note. Do you ever sit there and eat and like... Yeah, all the time. That's why I'm fat cool. as fuck. Well, let me, <laughs> let, me get to the, let me get to the kicker here. Do you ever sit there and eat like your chicken nuggets and be like, man, I swear they gave me more than what I just ate. <laughs> like, I'll sit there, bro. I ate two. I'm like, hold on, bro. Bro, let me cut how many are left. There's no way I did. Let me turn around real quick. <laughs> bro, did you give me like 15 and a 10 piece, bro? This 10 piece got big. <laughs> James says, I'm slightly offended they got the same rating as my Yeezys. James. It's just the creativity. That's all. Hey. That's all. This. Oh. This is a shoe I've been wanting for so long. I've owned it one other time. It was dead stock, and I was never going to wear it, and it didn't have the box. It's your size! Yeah, that's This I might them. be what you need to wear for the next event. That's why I bought them. Yeah? Yeah, I couldn't find them in my size forever. Like, literally forever. Hold on, let me redo this real quick. Yeah, they're real. Yeah. yeah. Make sure. Yeah, they're, still there. they're still there. He said, son of a gun. I don't know if you guys are right. <laughs> this guy offered me a bunch of like four other, three other pairs of those. Of these? Is it not, a... not, not that oh, other way, shoe. but that shoe. Does he have a thirteen? Mm, I don't know. I don't this know. is my favorite LeBron, by the way. Ever? Mm-hmm. No, like, like uh, <laughs> silhouette. The nine. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I had a BHM fire. BHM. He offered me Swingmans. Uh. He offered me um, the Dunkmans. 
and he offered me the dog man's on the, the, dog man's the free gums. Right? Yeah, he offered me the black, the gray and green pair, Come and the uh, three. No, yeah. You're fucking lying. Swear. Oh my god. I about got up and left. <laughs> you just pissed me off. <laughs> Bro, find another pair of this clean. You're for not that. going no. to. What? <laughs> oh, no. I about punched you in the esophagus here and that. What are you talking about, B? Boom, baby. These are so silly. Boom, baby. <laughs> the James says, bang. Oh, I need a nine and a half. Oh my god. These are so clean. <laughs> I wasn't expecting them to be this clean, to be honest. Yeah, you don't like, just don't. You'll find them that way. Like, bro, they still have the dimples on their heels and all that stuff, bro. Like, these are about as clean as you're going to get for a wolf. I didn't know they had a wolf. I knew they had a galaxy in them, but I didn't know they had a wolf on this one. It's it's a lion. A and, lion? Yeah, and did you know... Oh, duh, you stupid ass. <laughs> Every one of them has what a different, has a different um, animal on them. Oh, really? Yeah. But every- that same shoe has the same on the ankle. Yeah, like... This is gas. Like, see, it's got the lion with the lion that's on the top, the tongue. The other, like, Kobe's got one, and then the same thing with KD. Uh, I think they might both be snakes, but I'm just... Sorry, that was an NBA joke. I hate you so much. What's that? Is that... Lebr- they, Lebr- uh, LeBron oh, that's James a B. Six. That's a B, okay. Yeah, I was like, L8J6, I'm like, did he no, wear... He hasn't wore six. six at that point, did he? And then this is a good buy, B. This a steal. I'm so happy that I got I got the seal of approval from you because like there's so many pairs that I buy. Example A. (laughs) (laughs) You just are like, wow! I can't believe you paid that much, or wow! I can't believe you bought that. I almost want to give you give you the same amount just just to appreciate the fact that you got it for that good of a deal. (laughs) I'll show you the I'll show you the message. Wow! That was shipped too. I didn't pay for shipping. <laughs> First off, I tried to jew him. Who down. the fuck is this jackass? I want to know who that is. <laughs> I tried to jew him down more than that. <laughs> <laughs> who do you think you are, Tyler? I mean, come on now. Jeez, I offered him two fifty. <laughs> two fifty shift, my boy. <laughs> oh my god, that's that's nice, man. I was wow. I saw them. I saw them in a Facebook group and was like, they had to be in in a. Uh, they were on LeBron Marketplace. Or no, they were in Laced. I was about to say, I was going to say Deadstock LA. But. Yeah, they were in Laced. And the guy, <laughs> I messaged him. I was like, yo, what do you want for me? He's like, oh, I'll take like 300 plus shipping is what I'm asking. I'm like, say I'll do, less, I said, my boy. I'll do 250 plus shipping. <laughs> and he's like, wow. oh, you're high offer. Let me think about it. And then like 30 minutes later, I was like, yo, bro, I'll just take it for 300. Yeah. I was like, I'm not going to find another this pair. This is so. fire. And, bro, people just aren't, like, huge orange fans. They're just not. Look, I don't wear orange a lot of times because my hair is orange. So, like, it doesn't look really good on me. But... Who gives a shit when it's this shoe? <laughs> That's kind of where I was yeah. at. Like, yeah. I, I don't care what anybody oh says, bro. God. This show just goes there's so no hard. There's no creasing. No, there's no creasing. You a lot appreciate of the, this A show. lot of the time, this fluorescent orange color gets scuffed off. Well, there's creasing just here, but that's... that. I mean, that happens Bro, after one wear, so... But I'm saying, like, this fluorescent orange, like, gets scuffed off and stuff really easy. And there's none of that. So, like... I own zero LeBrons. This is one you want. For my collection. This would be... This would be one that I would... I wouldn't mind owning in the collection. Especially for that fucking price. <laughs> He's had for 300 Jesus Christ. Sheesh. Yeah, he, this is fire. He goes, I spend $300 on stupid shit all the time. All day. All day. <laughs> Hell, I bought a gun today for six hundred. Like, what the hell? Why did you buy a gun? Don't ask. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Does, Tor- does Tori know you bought the gun yet? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know you if you had. Done. It was a good deal, so. Oh, okay. Wiggly. And the bottoms are still clean, glowing, boy. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I, I didn't match on purpose. I promise. <laughs> Fire. Yeah, especially making a. Yeah. Fluorescent Stupid. orange. Stupid. Fluorescent orange and galaxy. Oh. <laughs> my. Oh, my God. Golly. Yeah, this is fire. This is a definite 11 out of 10. Yeah, this is probably. If anybody says otherwise, you're getting blocked, so don't. Don't. Don't, don't try it. Don't try it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> please don't. This is, this is, again, one of the shoes that got me into sneakers. This uh, is a mad grill for multiple people. Yeah. Like. 
hell of people this as a girl, and the fact that you got it for so cheap is for cheap and in this clean for that cheap. Yeah, the dude offered me those those other pairs, those three other pairs, and um, something else for like eight hundred bucks. That's not bad either. No, but I didn't want to wow. pay two hundred a pair for them. Wow, 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 wow. He also has an Oregon Duck phone posits he's trying to sell. What size? Uh, 12, 11, 11 or not 13. 12. Yeah, not 13. Uh, oh, it was 2K14 LeBrons, and um, it was 2K14 LeBrons, China's Swingman's Freedoms. So the blue pair, the white and black pair, and then the. Uh, yeah, this is, I, in my opinion, red. I think this is the best LeBron silhouette. I think that it's a very close one and two between this and the ten. Is that the ten back here? The ten. The one, the one that you went for? No, that was the eleven. Eleven. Okay. The yeah. ten is. Uh, oh, I know with the denims and the. And yes, the yes, 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 yes. Yeah, you're right. I think those. I two think are. these and the tens are are definitely one and two. Like, if you want to throw in an older one, like I can throw in like the four. I like the LeBron four. It's just. Yeah, the four is good, but I also like the seven. The seven had like the go- yeah. the the little metal pieces that came yeah. off the, the top. Um, there's a lot of good eight eight colorways too. I just think this is one LeBron that was a great basketball shoe, and it's going to turn into fashion by the time he's done. It's turned in, it was turned into fashion when he was playing, it's and then it kind of faded now. out. It kind of faded out, and like this pair is one of those pairs that's like, like you can't just wear this shoe out. No, nah, no, nah. like a Jordan three fire basketball shoe. Hell of fashion now. Right. That's all it's about. Jordan 1. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that shoe is literally like... The pinnacle of what you're referring to. Of, of, yeah, I mean, it's like a van. Like, it looks good shitball, and it looks good clean. Do I have my, my, uh... Hey, Logan, can you bring me my blacklight? Hey, thanks, Corbin, for stopping by, my boy. I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Good luck with that class, man. Or that word, or you said... Yeah, so, yeah, good luck. I think it's on the kitchen table. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. Yeah, I'm just, I just want to hit it with the, th- the. Oh, the light. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Ding ding. Yeah, this whole pull tab glows. This glows in the it's dark. Like galaxy's fire. Yeah. That's tight. Like the whole sides glow, all of it glows. That's fire. I think the lace tips glow too. You know, you know what the number one thing that um, I saw a lot of people do when they came out with these? What? Throw galaxy laces in them. Oh yeah, yeah, I've seen that. I think that would that would make it look ugly, to be honest. Yeah, I wouldn't it, like that. It was like 50-50. Like, it depended. Like, you know the people that spent extra money to buy, like, really nice laces and the people that didn't spend the money to buy yeah, the nice the laces? Yeah, $2 ones from Finish Line, yeah. Yeah, like, you could kind of tell. I feel like back then, some there was a there was a company that made the laces specifically for this. Yeah. Yeah, this is such a nice shoe. I love this shoe, and I'm so happy that I got it. 2011? Yeah, the end of 2011 or beginning of 2012? It was the 2012 All-Star Game, so... That's right. So, manufacturing was 2011, so... But, dude, I'm telling you, this shoe... Like, honestly, I don't know if... I'm not a jealous person, but I'm jealous that you have this. This... This this is a fire pickup. This shoe is in my top five right now. But I don't. They didn't miss anything on this shoe. Nope. Not a single thing. But they'll never come back out with a fire all-star game pack. I mean, they try. (laughs) Oh, yeah, they try every year. (laughs) (laughs) But it's just like... this Not a single pair out of this pack missed. I just don't think that... uh, Look, bro, let me... Nike wants to get that bold anymore. This is a bold... This is a bold... Why not? It's just... I don't know, dude. Uh, I don't know. Shoes 2012. Bet, Corbin. Bet, bet, bet. What's up, my boy, Zach? Bang, bang, bang. Yeah, bang, that, bang. The, the the Kobe's my least favorite, but the, that KD's gas. 
Um, so yeah, the D Rose is butt, bro. All those are garbage. Yeah, all the Team Jordans are f- butt. Um, they they had a picture of oh there was the dunk. They came out in three colors. The the swooshes are removable. The patch on the tongues are removable. I've not seen those. Yeah, like see, they did them in olive gray and then like uh, uh, maybe this pair right here, like black almost. So yeah, I've not seen them. So there's those. Yeah, let's see the foams. The, oh, the foam or the, the rookies. Yeah, the uh, yes, that pair. Yes. I I always wanted that. They came. They came out with one for China that had all three of them together in the same box. You'll never see that. Yeah, no, you nobody's know. gonna ever pull that out. But see, That's like fucking wild. See, it had all their logos on it, like the snake, and this one was a, a like a Pegasus was the one for KD. Of course, because he's soft. Right. <laughs> Banana bread. <laughs> Oh man, this is a good shoe, man. I'm trying to find the I'm trying to find the uh, the Even, Blake Griffin and stuff like that that came out of it. What's up? What's up? What's up? Oh, that's homie. Damn, I, I'm about to. I gotta message you back when we get off here, my boy. Um, I was gonna get a table from him this weekend, but I had the um because they got a show. That's in Louisville. Oh yeah, the Louisville shows yeah. this weekend. Yeah, we were gonna Galaxy, go. See Kobe yeah. Seven, Big Bang, Phone Pop. They gave the foam posit a B plus. You are out of your mind. Nine gal or the all star. Just an A. And they gave the KD a fucking A plus. <laughs> you piss me off. <laughs> Boy, that's that's a kick in the teeth. Oh, there's the all three colorways of the um Yeah, that's the sample galaxy. So the sample galaxy looks like the one that came out two years ago, three years ago. <laughs> Kinda. Of. Closer to it. Yo, I've not seen any of those. They're all cool. I like the olive bear. It's pretty cool. Wow. And then those the low hyper dunks. Different hyper dunk for each one of the teams. Different. And then four. Yeah, they had a bunch of peas. Amari Stoudemire's bear. There's the Blake Griffin. I was thinking of a complete different pair from Blake Yeah, Griffin. but see, look. Like, this one's, like, how they got the basis for, like, the moon landings. Because this oh. has the moon pattern all over the toe, like, all over the sides of the That's the hyper dunk. Um, for sure, exactly. Then the, the zoom, zoom rookies. rookies there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are s- silly. So. So silly. Dude, they just keep... I wish they came out with some. I'm not gonna lie to you. I wish Nike came back out with the Black History Month la, uh, line. No, they do. They're just garbage. They just keep. They don't make. Very, they had. They didn't make one last year, did they? Yeah, they make Black or History Months every single year. But the well, I don't know if they necessarily did this year because I don't think they did because of uh, COVID. Blame but, COVID. Thanks. But I'm just saying, like they they have they were in the past, like pre 2020. And there was a uh, oh that's what, oh not not uh, Black History Month. I'm thinking of the Christmas line. Oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm thinking of the, the Christmas, Christmas line. line used to be bangers too. Bro, that was the Christmas the Christmas K, uh, Kobe nines the high tops were the only Kobe that I liked. That was what was like the Christmas 2012 or Christmas 2011 pair? Christmas I don't 2000. That I think the LeBron was green. Eleven. Shoes. So what came out that year? No, oh. they were the red pair. Ooh, that was the, the copper f- fours. The copper four, yeah. I'm I think I think that was the only shoe that was nice. Yeah, because no, the cool. Kobe's were good. That's the like Grinch the Kobe? Kobe Seven, yeah, bro. That's crazy. That's not the Christmas one. These all are for Kobe Eight, KD Five. Oh, the oh, oh, that's the eight. I would say that's not the no, same that's one. The okay. Um, but yeah, they gave you. So tell me how goofy this is. So they gave you this version of the of the Grinch Kobe Seven, and the pair he wore was low top. Huh. Although they I gave you like two, that. they gave you two. So like in that shoe, the actually I'll show you real quick. 
This is like the coolest part about the Kobe 7 that nobody knows about. It's like yin yang? Well, no. Oh, the, the insoles, atrocious. Yeah, like, so that's how they gave you two different insoles, but the insoles were the... For a, hey, exactly, Corbin. If you make them high top or low top. Oh, because of how it sets on your foot. No. <laughs> because the whole insole and tongue are connected. So it's literally just a shell, and the whole tongue was connected. So if you wanted to make it a high top, that's how they made the, the Kobe 7 a high top. They just made this bigger and added material to the back to make it so that it would wrap around your That's back. gross. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bro. That's that's my dirty foot. But um, That is gross. No, I'm not saying gross like that. I'm saying like... No, no, no. But like, yeah. See, it's just... Ew. It's just the shell. This is so light, bro. <laughs> Feel how, this right here might be heavier than that. Not quite, but yeah, I mean, I mean, it's it's really, just about as. It's heavy ridiculous as... the fact that how light this is. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't own any Kobe. I'm not, I've never been a huge, huge Kobe shoe fan. Now there are some that are like Kobe Seven's the greatest shoe that they ever made for Kobe Bryant. I would take the six okay. as a secondary option, okay. but the seven is very. very I'm not gonna argue with that one. Corman said that new Yeezy slide is like a fire, bro. Bro, I'm selling my Yeezy slide because <laughs> I don't silly. wear it. So silly, bro. You're telling me you're telling me there is no slide in this world that's worth two hundred dollars, even one hundred and fifty dollars. Not a chance. I'll go buy a Croc, which I did, and it feels the exact same. Yo, uh, did you hear about LeBron? The Nike built a headquarters next to their facility. Yeah, it's the new LeBron building. Did you know that they have all kinds of samples and stuff like that in there that like yeah, that nobody was... nobody has even really seen. Like they just kind of like Pop Hey, out. here's here's a glass case with a bunch of different samples in it. Yeah. The the LeBron 19, the new LeBron that's coming out, mm -hmm. amazing. It's freaking cool. They did one. Oh yeah, they I see the Space Jam. The Space Jam. They have an all black and red pair. That's cool. I'm, re I'm actually ready to see what they do with the Le the Lakers colorways for them, too. Because you know they're going to come out with them. Um, hopefully they come out in the same color blocking as the bread bear. This is 11 out of 10, my guys. Oh, yeah. 11 out of 10. Holy grail. I hate Scotty people. so much, bro. Why? I hate him so much. Why? What he say? Because he's good enough to come on alive, but not good enough to message me back. <laughs> speaking of hey, so speaking of Scotty, I messaged your boy Renee yesterday and he didn't message me back. So maybe you can give me the answer. Do you know anybody with the damn mummy dunks that I can go give my money to? Oh yeah, Scotty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scotty has them already, bro. You don't know Scotty? <laughs> I'm sure that he already does, but yeah. I need a pair in my size. He's got them and sold them already. I believe that. <laughs> Scotty's that dude. Scotty is that dude. I just have it. You don't have these though, Scotty. No, you don't. <laughs> Scotty needs those. Those are a Scotty shoe. This is a Scotty shoe. I can see him sit on <laughs> mad hoes. <laughs> I sneak bet you he sneaks he in. He put that bad boy on his head and all, too. Hey, bro, he would sneak into mad titty bars in those. For sure. <laughs> hey, appreciate it, DJ. Be safe, my boy. Oh, God. Man. <laughs> that's all of them. That's, 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 that's the all... six. Yeah, that's all six pairs, though. Yeah, what size mummy? Uh, 11 and a half or a 12. Or a and 13. a 13. Yeah. My boy, I need a 13. Scotty, bro, messes me back. Stop playing. Make a trip <laughs> up here Friday. Grab all of it and stop playing. Hey, uh. Ooh. Oh, we paused for a second. And now we're back. We paused. Uh, but yeah, so. I wish I would have went to the banana bread event, but didn't work out. I know, way. I know, I know. Too bad. You know, Scotty said it was it was it was, de it was decent. I think um, that they sold a lot less tables this time, and I know they had a trading pit like right in the middle. Yeah, I've been. Um, to be fair, I've been on my phone very much lately. I just working. I I saw from a couple of people that I'm like good friends with. You know, they sent me pictures in my DM, um, and they kind of were like, yo, this is a lot smaller than what we expected. Yeah. So, not that that's a bad thing. I mean, kudos to having another good event. Yeah, fire. Oh. <coughs> so. Um. 
but... Someone said their kids probably have a lot of shoes. Oh, yeah, LeBron's kids. And ki- oh, yeah, bro. LeBron's... Oh my you know what's funny? LeBron gave his son a pair of Yeezys this year for... Or last year for Christmas, and he about got in trouble with Nike for it. Because, like, he saw... They saw it on Instagram, and, like... He's he signed to a life year or a lifelong deal to Nike. Yeah, what are you gonna do? The headquarters and all kinds of stuff. And his son wanted a pair of Yeezys, so like he bought him a grow pair of Yeezys. up, guys. Come on now. So like he didn't want to he didn't want to get in trouble, so he tried to not like put it in the IG video or whatever. They kind of like snuck in and stuff. Come so on, guys. That was like a thing for like a couple days after Christmas, like last year. The year that's before. like that's like saying Kanye is should get in trouble for wearing Nike apparel. Like he was wearing Nike socks with his Adidas socks or with his Adidas slides. Like now it's acceptable for everybody. What, to do what about when he wore the court purples? Yeah. So like, <laughs> bro. I don't care what anybody says. I think that I think that Nike that LeBron LeBron could come out today in a pair of Yeezy slides and nobody would give a damn. No one would care, and it's not like any. I mean, I could be wrong, but it's not like anybody's gonna be like, "Oh, LeBron's wearing the slides. I gotta buy him." I don't think that would happen. If they were like, oh, God, Travis Scott's wearing them, then, God, I need that to That would be a big deal. I need to have seven pairs. That would but. be a big deal. <clears throat> because Travis Scott is just so... It's, now, I'm not saying LeBron's not a big influence on kids, but He's, Travis Scott's a huge influence on kids on their, the way they dress. Like I don't think that LeBron is as big of an influence as what people think he is. I think that... That kids now are more looking towards um, music and yeah, different fashion. Yeah, like fashion, different inspiration. I think at stuff. one point he was. I think now. I think um, 2012 LeBron, like when Nike basketball yeah. was huge. Kids just don't appreciate it. Yeah. That's why. It's like more people like. Kids I wouldn't even say shit. us. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't, even say, <laughs> I wouldn't even say, like, people our age, because people our age are still, are still inconsiderate as fuck and they don't appreciate shit, but, like, it's really for the old heads now at this point. Man, I want to, you know what, <laughs> thinking about this, man, I wish I was a little kid again, because, bro, my mom, so we, my mom's funny. been watching exactly. uh, my dad's son's uh, child mm-hmm. or whatever, like, while his girlfriend or, or actually his wife is at work on Wednesdays. Mm-hmm. Bro, tell me why every single week this kid goes somewhere and he either shows up and has a new toy, has a new new something, like she'll go to the store and get different snacks specifically for him. Like, bro, I wish my kid would, or my parents when I was in there were like, oh, you're going to eat this bologna sandwich and if you don't like it, then bro, shit. I know. I wish I was like Nolan. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I swear like my parents. Bro, I know. Bro, four straight weeks in a row. Week one, he came there and he had like a like a little play set or like a little play pin or whatever to mess around in. Then the net, they figured out that he likes a show called Bluey. I guess Bluey's fire. Have okay. you not watched it? I've watched like one or two episodes. Bluey's gas, bro. <laughs> what? So, what? so the next week, my mom bought like two hundred and fifty balloons that say "Keepy Uppy" on them. And blow- spoiler alert: Bluey's a girl. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know that either, and I had an argument with my five year old. <laughs> and he was like, and he was like, <laughs> like he literally was yelling at me. He said, "Bluey is a girl." I'm like, "Bruh, raise your voice again." I'm a, we're gonna throw hands. I looked it up. Did you tell him he was right? Yeah. You had to go back in and be like, "Hey, buddy, I'm hey, sorry. I'm I, sorry." I, I, I apologize. I apologize. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But no, then like the next day, he, there the next week he came in. He had like a like a bluey blow like house, like yeah. one of those little uh, like play houses or whatever. Uh-huh. He had one of those. Now he's got. Now like, you know how your kids are gonna be feeling when you have them, <laughs> it's like, right? It's like <laughs> if you guys have them. My parents not like them way like, more than me. <laughs> yeah, that bro. I'm not gonna lie. That's how it is. And it sounds so <laughs> weird, and I'm not trying to get off subject, but that's how like um, parents connect. With like, if they weren't as close to their kids, and I'm not saying that's the case with you guys, but if um, there's a lot of parents that like didn't give a shit about their own kids, and then like growing up, their kids finally had kids. That's what brings them back together. Yeah, bro. Like, yeah, it's it's. I'm just cool. telling you. I'm just telling you. Grandkids, bro. Spoiled, spoiled, by bro. My son, he gets way, bro. The amount of shit that he gets, I would get in like three months, and he gets that shit in one month. 
Yeah, like I'm trying to I'm trying to be five again, man. What are you what are you talking about? Same Ain't no hey. bills. <laughs> Shoot. You're like, I wish I had the same shoe collection as he has at fucking five. Oh my god. I promise you his shoe collection is better than like ninety percent of people that go to <laughs> go to shoe events. It's crazy. Like that's why every time it's like, no, and you want to go to the shoe convention? Sure. Like this week he'll show up in Zion's. Next week he'll show up in co- or uh, Carbons. Next week he'll show up in this. What's, what's he fitting in right now? Uh, some Jubilee Elevens and the Khaki Sixes, Shadow Sixes. Khaki Trap Sixes. Yeah, but he. I don't think he's gonna wear those because he fucked them up the first wear, and I'll fuck him up. <laughs> Man, he's not wearing them. <laughs> He'd wear them to a shoe event if you took him. Yeah, yeah. But he wouldn't let him go play on the playground with him. No, sir. <laughs> he said no. no. I would put him in a headlock so fast. <laughs> so fast. <laughs> um, but yeah, bro, you got anything else? Um, we had a nice little six-piece today. Yeah, six-piece nugget for six, sure. Six-piece nugget with a Happy Meal. Hopefully they... Actually, we had a seven. We got an extra one. Ooh, so the cook loved us. The cook loved us. Is that a South Beach? Yeah. Oh, that's an eight and a half. Yeah, that's a... I was going to say, uh, I have someone that wants it, but he needs a nine. But, yo, everybody that's not by. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate you. I love you. For everybody that's still going to watch this video later on today, tomorrow, next week, that gets sent into the DMs to some folks, I appreciate you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, we'll see you guys next week. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be nearly as eventful as this week was. But I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. I thought we were going to sit here and just babble off for 45 minutes over nothing. Well, I can tell you there's a lot of stuff we didn't hit. Yeah. Today. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm, I'm not, I don't want to sit here and bore people for another hour. So we're still right. going to hit a lot of um, subjects next week. For sure. So either way, we're still going to be talking shit. <laughs> per usual. <laughs> so we'll see you guys next week. Thank you. Chupapi.